Good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As part of our introduction today to this Eucharist, let's watch a short video prepared by our youth. My dear friends, if you have ever gone for a rock show or a band playing or if there's any big program happening, you will very often have the compare of the show or the main band member coming onto the stage, you know, getting the crowd together, getting them all excited and then asking them this very important question, are you ready? And that's the question I am asking each one of you also. One of the important messages of our readings of the day is our readiness. And therefore today, my dear friends, I ask you, are you ready? Did you come ready to celebrate this Eucharist? Were you prepared mentally and spiritually to come to begin this Eucharist. Are you ready for whatever happens including death? Let's pause for a few moments my dear friends. Let us honestly do some soul searching. As we enter into the mystery of this Eucharist, let us acknowledge our own lack of readiness, our unpreparedness, our own laziness and casualness to life. Let us say together, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my, in my words, words, in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels, angels and saints, and, saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the, to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. With confidence in God's mercy, let us now sing together.
on this 32nd Sunday of the year, let us now glorify God together by singing the Gloria. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. We make this prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Wisdom is radiant and unfading, and she is easily discerned by those who love her and is found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known to those who desire her. He who rises early to seek her will have no difficulty, for he will find her sitting at his gates. To fix one's thought on her is perfect understanding, and he who is vigilant on her account will soon be free from care, because she goes about seeking those worthy of her, and she graciously appears to them in their paths, and meets them in every thought. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, our response shall be, For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. For, For you my, my soul, soul is thirsting, thirsting O Lord, Lord my, my God. God. O God, you are my God, 
at dawn i seek you for you my soul is thirsting for you my flesh is pining like a dry weary land without water a response for, for you, you my, my soul, soul is thirsting, thirsting o lord my god. god i have come before you in the sanctuary to behold your strength and your glory your loving mercy is better than life my lips will speak your praise a response for you, for you my, my soul is thirsting, thirsting o lord, lord my, my god. god i will bless you all my life in your name i will lift up my hands my soul shall be filled as with a banquet with joyful lips my mouth shall praise you a response for my, you, for you my, my soul is thirsting, thirsting o lord, lord my, my god. god when i remember you upon my bed i muse on you through the watches of the night for you have been my strength in the shadow of your wings i rejoice a response for, for you, you my, my soul, soul is thirsting, thirsting o lord, lord my god, god. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep, for this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive who are left, we will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lambs, they took no oil with them. But the wise ones took flasks of oil with their lambs. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose 
and trimmed their lambs. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lambs are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will be not enough for us and for you, go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with them to the marriage feast. And the door was shut. Afterwards the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, we'll just watch a short video prepared by a youth depicting a real life scenario. Hey Samuel, hey Abigail, how are you guys doing here? Yeah? Such a long time. I'm good, yeah. How are you, Samuel? Oh yes, I'm doing fine. How are you, Joshua? How's everything going? Are sab badiya, are sab badiya nahi hai, yaar. Matlab, this online exams are such a lot of stress, you know. First exams are like full chill, matlab, you had a lot of time to prepare and you were mentally prepared for them. But with online exams, you just don't feel like giving them, you know? Oh, come on, Jocelyn. They are just MCQs. I mean, you have the entire night to revise for them. You'll do well, man. Come on, just forget about it. That's there. Are guys, by MCQs, I remembered. You know our friend Rohan, right? He's been sick Rohan? for many days and he doesn't attend any lectures. I think we should help him with notes oh. and all since exams are coming. He has other friends, dude. Someone will help him. Why are we guys becoming like the good guys? You know what, guys? I feel like we have a lot of problems, you know? Rohan, exams. The best thing to do right now is pray. I think today is Sunday and I don't think so. You guys attended Mass also. So, you know, let's just pray. God will help Rohan. God will help with the, us with our exams. Everything will be fine. So, let's just pray. You know, with these exams around, I see you guys suddenly becoming saints. I mean, the mass is streamed online. You can watch it anytime and anywhere. Plus, God can wait. So, why are you guys? I mean, we let's just enjoy. Like, let's just play a game. Do that. Uh, before the game, I'll just send you all a petition. You all fill that, and after that, we'll play the game. Petition. OMG, you guys are becoming saints suddenly. Abigail, we can do that anytime. I mean, where is the petition running? Let's just. I have this one cool game, I mean, I just figured it out. Among Us, let's play that. Hey, Among Us, I've heard about that. Yeah. You know what, Abigail? I think that petition, Rohan, God, everything can wait. Let's just play this game right now. I really feel like playing it. And I think so you should also join. So let's just play this game and, you know, have fun. You know, forget about yes, it. Yes, let's enjoy. Okay. okay, guys, so see you there. Chalo. Yes, see you. My dear friends, Abigail, Joswin and Samuel have just presented to us I know, a very beautiful insight, insight about our own lack of readiness. One of the important reasons why we are never ready is because of an attitude of procrastination. I will do it tomorrow. My dear friends, I will do it tomorrow is one of the most dangerous words when it comes to spiritual life. I will do it tomorrow because it's dangerous because tomorrow never comes. My dear friends, there's a big difference between somebody who procrastinates and somebody who is lazy. 
Somebody who is lazy has no goal. That person doesn't know what to do and doesn't want to do anything also. For him or her, it doesn't matter. But on the other hand, if we look at somebody who is, you know, procrastinating, this person already has an idea of what needs to be done. This person is only dealing. And the delay happens again and again, again and again, and becomes very much part of that person's life. My dear friends, if you really want to look at it very carefully, and if we look at our own tendency to procrastinate, when I know something has to be done, and I am delaying, very often to delay that particular thing, I am indulging in a lot of useless things which are really not necessary. I am simply wasting away time. My dear friends, there are many people who say, you know, I like to procrastinate because, you know, in the last minute, I love to do so many things, I can study so many things, I have so much energy, what what everything happens. But my dear friends, it is important to also realize, if I'm always wasting, waiting till this last minute, what I am producing in myself also is anxiety. I am producing in myself also stress. And today, we are watching people dying because of anxiety, because of stress. This is self-created. I don't really require this. My dear friends, very often, you will have people coming to us to, for confession or for a chat. And what they often say is, Father, I feel useless. Let me describe what it means to be useless and why do I feel useless? Because very often I know what I have to do. I am not doing that thing. I am delaying, delaying, delaying. I eventually end up not doing that thing or I don't get the results which I am capable of. And when that happens, I feel guilty. And the more I feel guilty, the more useless I feel, the more I begin to doubt myself. And this cycle continues. My dear friends, if you look closely at our gospel today, we are presented with a very important symbol, the symbol of oil. Oil, my dear friends, could very easily symbolize our relationship with God and with others. This oil, my dear friends, this relationship cannot be borrowed from somebody else. Nobody else can give me their relationship with God and put it into me. I have to cultivate this. My dear friends, this oil could also very, very easily symbolize character. I have to develop my character. I cannot borrow somebody else's character. My dear friends, this oil could also very, very easily symbolize values. I need to develop my own value system. I cannot borrow somebody else's value system. And this gospel, therefore, my dear friends, is challenging us. The first reading is talking about wisdom, my dear friends. And that wisdom comes if I am waiting eagerly. If I want it. If I desire it. And that is the challenge, my dear friends. Am I ready for this wisdom? Am I ready to cultivate a relationship? Am I ready to cultivate character? Am I ready to develop my own value system? My dear friends, let's pause for a few moments. Each one of us knows where we are lacking. Each one of us knows our own habits. We all know our excuses. As we stand before God, Let us 
acknowledge this weakness of ours. Let us ask the Lord to help us overcome this tendency. My dear friends, on your screen you will see a number coming up. I invite each one of you to please send a WhatsApp message on this number. Please put forward your intentions, your prayers, your hopes. We will read these messages of yours and pray individually for each one of you. Let's spend a few moments once again in silence placing our intentions before God. Today being Sunday, let us also profess our faith. Let us say together, I believe, I believe in, in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and, and in Jesus Christ, Christ His only, His only Son, Son, our Lord, who, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified, died, and, died, and was buried. buried. He descended he into hell, on, On the, the third day he rose again from the, dead. from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. We will now have the prayers of the faithful. For the church that having to take the word of God to heart, that we may have a spirit of readiness so that we can respond to God's presence and invitation at any moment. For this we pray to the Lord, our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For church leaders and leaders of government, that they may fulfill their duties with integrity and work untransitely to address the secular issues of our church and society. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of wisdom that God will give us insight and understanding through our daily experiences so that we may value and nurture those things that will sustain us into eternal life. We pray to the Lord, our response, Lord, hear our prayers. The grace of fidelity that we may follow Christ faithfully each day of our life, acting justly, loving tenderly, and walking humbly before God, and thus keep our life burning until Christ comes. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering financially, that God will ease their burden provide food for malnourished and open new opportunities for employment so that they may provide for their family. Your response? Lord, hear our prayer. For all social activities including Father Stan who consistently struggle to ensure that the tribals and the poor got their rights and basic amenities. May God continue to be with them and give them the courage and strength to continue the fight against injustice. May we too be inspired to take up the case of the poor, the tribals and the suffering environment. Let us pray to the Lord. Our response, Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pause and pray for our personal communitarian needs. Our response, Lord, hear our prayers. Loving God, our Father, 
We place before you all our prayers, all our petitions, those that we have expressed and those that remain in the silence of our hearts. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. What can I give? What can I bring? That will be pleasing to my King. But I'll give my heart, not just a part. I'm lifting up my everything. When it's all I have to offer, and it's all I. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, 
the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ending, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Fate Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to come into your presence and minister unto you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy, religious, and people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. We now turn to our daddy, to our papa in heaven. Our father, our father who, art who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this us day our daily, daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our, our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us and lead us not, not into temptation but deliver us from, from evil. 
Let us pray deliverance from every evil, especially this tendency of ours to procrastinate. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lamb who calls us to be ready, the Lamb who takes away our every sin. Happy are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, before the final blessing, we once again thank all our youth for their technical expertise 
our youth have taken great pains to make these videos for us. We thank all our Holy Family youth for that. And in a very special way today, we thank the members of Rosary Church Gujarat who have come together and led us all in singing this morning. A big thank you to each one of you. Let's prepare ourselves for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, this Mass has ended. We are all sent out to make our preparations. Thanks be to God. Wish you all a very happy Sunday and a great week ahead. Supermane Dukama, Daga Daga Dadu Bama, Rejo Sanga the Mara Hate, Rejo Sanga the Mara Sanjini vapore ma, andhari raat ma, rejo sangat ma rahi prabhu, rejo sangat ma rahi prabhu. Jeevanini hoon ma, kaadini adhoon ma, shubhu ju ek sat. Mm-hmm.